Okay, so aside from the cool games like Zelda and nostalgic properties like Pokemon and some cool racing games like Grid Auto Sport, Skyrim, <laughs> The Witcher 3, if you can believe it or not, on, on the system, and Doom. Now, aside from those cool games, one of the coolest things I like about the Switch, and this is something that you can't play, I think, on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, I've searched for it and it's, it doesn't exist for those. There's this Korg gadget. In fact, something like this, this particular thing, isn't even on Android. It might be on um, Apple products, but like I think I saw so it was on iOS, which means um, iPhone. But, as you can see exactly what it is, it's basically a MIDI sequencer. You know, you go into each individual um, little box here, and you can see that there's like several notes being played. Um, and you hit Y, for example, and... And so it's a really cool thing to be able to play and make music on the go. Okay, so now that I've showed you what this thing is and what it sounds like, I'm going to show you what it can actually do with regards to making music. It has several different synthesizers that you can use for things like drums, bass, lead, ambient noises, you name it. It functions like a typical MIDI sequencer in that you can place a note anywhere in the measure. And you can increase the length or decrease the length of the note at your will. There are limitations though. Uh, you can only play in 4-4. Four, four, and you cannot make a note carry over from one measure to the next. Right, so those are some limitations that you have to keep in mind when you're making music on this program. And now to test YouTube's copyright system because I uploaded one of my own songs to CD Baby and shortly it should be up on iTunes automatically detecting 
anybody that's playing it on YouTube, Pegasus will now be uh, played with this program, at least from the first uh, riff to the first chorus. So enjoy. <laughs> 